I seem to be having an off day in the Crucible, so I think that's a good talking point. But today's build is focused on Chromatic Fire since I felt that I gypped you the last time I used it because I ended up just using Phoenix Protocol for like the entirety of the match. However, Chromatic Fire, what does it do? Kinetic Precision Kills create elemental explosions. Ace of Spades already does that, so it doesn't create one larger explosion, doesn't stack with Firefly, rather it adds to Firefly. There are two explosions, and they're slightly delayed, so that's actually good. There's a chance someone might walk into it thinking the ace explosion is already over. My snipe is snapshot AP rounds dragonfly, my Zenobia is cluster bombs, and I'm using top tree. I'll explain that all on the fly. So the snipe with AP rounds, it gives you the rare opportunity if you're on a slope to headshot one enemy, body shot the next with the AP rounds, and since you headshot somebody, dragonfly might actually kill the person. I'm gonna die of that. Let's help teammate. What's that? GL? You're in the lead. Nice, we baited it. Teammate's pushing, I'm pushing. He fell off from the top, okay. Aggressive Axion, get him! There we go, I wanted the Axion to kill. Not that it really does anything. It's just I'm running this build, God damn it! it's gonna kill. Let's uh, get out of sight so he doesn't see me through the glass, so then he knows when to safely peek. Just collecting a lot of ammo. He's escaping Guardian. I knew I'd find his face eventually. See, is he up top or down below? Oh, that was somebody shooting at me. Hold up. I can't do anything about that. This is wonderful. I wanted that to look clean. I failed. There we go! The uh, double firefly got him. So having an off day in the crucible, what does that mean? A, that means it's a good hint to take a break. Sometimes it's just you didn't have your coffee. Sometimes you didn't eat well. You didn't sleep well. Maybe you're thinking about something that happened during the day. I don't know, the subconscious, but... So after this one, I am probably going to take a break. Oh, that was great. Uh, but anyhow, don't keep playing thinking you're going to get this magical great game that'll break your slump. He says as he domes a person. Again, it did it again. I mess with my heart. All right. Uh, but anyhow, if you're having an off day, just pick one thing to focus on if you have to continue playing. So maybe it's positioning. Maybe it's fast target acquisition. Maybe it's picking a smart target, like target priority. Like if somebody's near you with the shotgun, you obviously want to prioritize him, not the guy shooting in the back with the pulse since the shotgun is the more imminent threat. Speaking of which, Imminent Threat sounds like a Destiny weapon. Rip down. I'm gonna hold this crouch. Yes. Oh, my crit! You did it to me. You denied the clip. Let's go team, get me out of here. Here, I'll help you, you help me. There we go. Can't get tunnel vision.
I shot him in the elbow. You gonna jump up? Here, I'll crouch. I'll give you... Oh! <laughs> we went through right when I crouched. What the timing. Keep moving. I can bait him into their own spawn. They hunted me down exactly as they should have. Kudos. Five minutes remaining. So I've already said take a break. I've already said pick one thing and focus on it. So don't worry so much about winning, but just improving on that one thing. Because then maybe on the next day, that one thing will be a habit. Like, don't repeat if he's going to pre-fire and flinch you. He's going to see your elbow probably before you see him. So work a new angle entirely, and then you take somebody's face off. Just like that. If I see the little teammates on the radar, like the little Doritos, the blue Doritos, it's a good indication that they're pushing the enemy back a little bit, and so you can like line up your snipe preemptively. I hold a crouch to periodically go off the radar, maybe make the enemy a little, what's the word, heroic, brave, yeah, brave, to explore. I was so ready for that. Blink's the best jump, don't at me. Tell them to line up fast. Let's see, the garden? One below, one up. Alright, that smash will work. Are you gonna push them towards me or are they gonna spawn on alpha? Side. Uh, you can also take it as an opportunity to play PvE and just hang out with friends. Friends make everything better. And if you don't have friends, I know there's gonna be that comment. Then reach out to people. That was a wrist breaker if I hit it. Pretty much went where I wanted. Three minutes left. I was, uh, I had tunnel vision once I saw the super pop because that was my priority of target. And I got screwed over by the bow because that was a smart time for him to repeat, so. If you think critically about this kind of situations, so you can take him to bed with you, and then when you wake up, you'll be that much better of a player. Give me my grenade back. I think I can die to splash here. Okay, so he must have a backup plan? Yeah, okay. To be able to shoot two of those back to back like that. I'm trying to get in cover from multiple angles, like close off one angle as I work another. I use Fighting Lion a lot, best to rush him down. That killed me because I didn't land behind the piece of cover. Because you know if they're using Fighting Lion, they're going to have their pants down. And if they have a shotgun with the Fighting Lion, then you just have to bait one or the other. I knew he had a hand cannon. I've been seeing him play the whole game. Uh, take a note of what people are using is something you could work on. Just always keeping tabs on your opponents. I know I don't have Devour. I made it. Oh, that Firefly could have screwed me. I can't back up. I was gonna say I can't back up because there's a piece of cover blocking me so I couldn't tighten that angle anymore to prevent a shotgun rush. Uh, they all went at the same time so that was pretty good. I had an opportunity to escape and I didn't take it because I wanted the glory. Big mistake if you're trying to win the match but this is more for just fun of the loadout. Oh, 
Oh, if I would have hip fired him, I would have lost my mind. Cause that was three on me. That could have opened up the doors to kill all three of them. No tunnel vision. I'm dead. That spawn, man. What am I supposed to do there? I had people on every side of me. I guess I just had to hit my snipe, but that's kind of what I mean by an off day. I'm missing those kind of easy shots. I hit a couple of difficult ones, but like, that doesn't balance it out in my opinion. Consistently hitting easy shots a lot is better than randomly hitting difficult shots, you know, every now and then. I think the better player hits the easy shots consistently. You've got some fight in you. Good. All things considered, not a terrible match. And I, I got a lot of Firefly kills with the Ace Chromatic combo. Forgot what I was going to say there for a second. Also, I love that these Axion bolts are more aggressive, but when I think about it, Top Tree Storm just does it better. Like, because the Arc bolts are instant. Sure, I guess uh, Axion bolts force you to move, but Axion bolts just do the damage, and I think that's a little more valuable. We'll see though. Maybe next Iron Banner, I will use this build again since it's guaranteed control. See you guys in the next one.